Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy G Marcus with this TV back with a brand new video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I am fresh off. I just had a few drinks. I just came back from, from somebody in the birthday. Shout out to Katie. Happy birthday again. I just got the notification that uh, Lil Wayne and Drake Crystal track for the BB King Freestyle just dropped. And this is from Known Seamless Part 3. This is the this is Lil Wayne featuring Drake on the BB King Freestyle. Now, I've not heard it yet. I'm very, very freaking excited to hear this. I cannot hear it. And I am happy to preview this with you guys today. I'm going to give a rating on the song. If the song could have been better what I thought about the song overall, the beat, everything. So again, please like, comment, and subscribe, and definitely tell me what you thought about the song. Of course, while I'm listening to this, I'll be looking at the lyrics. This way I don't miss anything at all. So let's get straight to it. And of course, due to copyright, I cannot play the whole song, and I can't play much of it. I play bits and pieces of it. Everything that stood out to me, I will definitely put it in there. I'll definitely tell you what's hot, what I thought was not, what was weak, what was good. The blues is now kicking in dinner. It's three Michelin. I don't eat red meat. Okay, that Drizzy started off. He already got on this shit already. Drizzy said already. He said, I don't eat red meat. I got beef, but I got beef sizzling. It's like, yeah, it's Drizzy on that shit. You know, he's going to deliver. So here we go. Every time Drake is on the song Wayne, I feel like he gives his best. I feel like he feels like he got to outdo Wayne on every single song they do together. But back to the song. You saw what I flew here. You be like, he's sick in it. If you're not running some top, we're not going to keep kicking it. <laughs> He's, Drizzy say if you're not running some top, then we ain't kicking it. You goddamn right, yo. It's just like, yo, you gotta give me something. Like, especially on that second date. You gotta give me something. Yo, Drake, yo, you're not playing with that shit. This reminds me of the old school Drake. Deceiving. If you're a real Drake fan, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Deceiving by Drake, one of my favorite Drake songs, probably top 10. Yeah, yo, yeah, get on that shit. That's that gutter shit right there. So I say, yo, if you ain't giving me no top, then why we, like, we can't chill? Unless you're my friend. If we ain't friends, then it's like, yeah, what's up? Okay, so DJ Khaled hyping it up, you damn right. So basically, he's about to play it back, bring it back, whatever. That's some DJ Who Kid shit. If you guys are a G-Unit fan, you know what I'm talking about. But he just bring the whole thing back. All right, DJ Khaled, all right, hype it up, hype it up. Man, niggas love to roll with the boy and that fishes. I can feed the country with the tax that I pay government. Ooh, like that's another hot one right there. He said, I can feed the country, but what I pay in tax? What? You money long like that? Damn, I can't wait till I get to that level. Shout out to Drake for that one. That's a dope line right there. Like, yo, I hope he gets Canada first. When it came to school, there's no way that I'm A plus in it. So I just dropped out of it. Trust me, I'm not proud of it. Okay, that line was really good right there. He said that basically, like, you know, he wasn't the best student in school. So he dropped out. He's not proud of it. That's like some J. Cole shit right there. Like, I like that one right there. That one, it sounds like he's... It sounds like he's getting deep on this one. I like that one. It's like it's a nice little freestyle, but I like that little rhyme right there. You know, not, not we're not all built for school. Not all of us is good for school. But you know, kept it real. He's like, hey, you know, I'm not an A plus student. You know, I'm not proud of it. You know, of course, you know, Drake's mom was a teacher. She wasn't really proud of the fact they dropped out. But hey, but shout out to Drake though. He went back and he got his degree. From what I remember, he got his degree. So hey, it is what it is. Shout out to Drake. Look where he is now. Boom. Outside of it, shorty make a scene in the house. She get locked out of it. I don't even need to hear what Lil Wayne got to say at this point. Wayne's my man's or whatever. But like, I don't got. I hear what he said. Like, Drake bodied this shit. He said, niggas get a gun just to make a prop out of it. Like, what? Shorty want to make a scene outside? Like, she gets locked out of it? What? He's like, yeah, exactly. He's like, yo, I'm not with the bullshit. Like, I like that. He's getting straight to the point. You want to make a scene in the crib, whatever? Right, get not, you, you get locked out. I ain't going to knock you the fuck out. I'm going to lock you the fuck out. Giving house tours till it's back to world tours. Everyone wants to try me, but no one wants to buy me. Everyone talking lemons when everything is peachy. That last couple of bars right there, that was dope as hell. But what sticks out to me, I just love the part where he said, everybody talking lemons, but everything is peachy. Yeah, I like that one right there. Like, that might be a shot. Comment down below if it's a shot. It might be a shot. It kind of seems that way, but it's all good though. You know, I like it, but like that that last couple of lives he did right there, it's like, yo, it's really good. The homeboy said everybody got their hands out, but they ain't trying to reach me. Yeah, that hand out shit. Everybody got their hand out. Like, what's going on? Like, can you see if I'm okay? Like, can you see if I'm all right? Instead of always wanting damn money? That's all you money efforts out there. Y'all know who y'all are. Yeah? That's all y'all out there. Stop. You know what I'm saying? It's like, hey, give me a call sometime. I don't want, you know, not always really want something. Like, damn. Drake body this verse. Like, he body this. Wayne better come with some good shit on this one. Wayne gotta come with something hard. Now it's Weezy's verse. Let's see what Weezy got for us. Let's see. Let's go, Weezy. Get him. That's a nice one right there. You gotta, you gotta look past niggas that, you know, at times in life. You know, especially them, like, you know, them lame-ass niggas that just want to stay in the same place over and over again. 
Especially them backstabbing niggas, it's like, yeah, if you're out of eye, I just look behind you, you know? It is what it is. I like that line right there. None too crazy, none too big, but I like it. Bitches fuck at they hoes, and that's when Torchy remind them. I used to fuck with G models, I'm fucking Gucci designers. <laughs> That's a nice little one right there. I used to fuck G models and I'm fucking Gucci designers. Okay, well, <laughs> that's nice right there. You know, that's an upgrade. That's upgrade fucking right there. Shout out to Wayne for that one. All right, I like that one. Simple. That was a nice one right there. That one's cool. That's a nice little line right there. You know, you fucking with my money, you know, it's over. You better know Trigamji. I like that one. That was cool. I don't need war. I need a bitch that know I'm gonna need yours. Fire alone. Ain't got no ceilings. We climbing the walls. Higher than yours. I fuck your bitch and she die in my arms. Hey, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. But. What you call it? So that's the end of the song right there. So DJ Khaled gives it a little like outro, whatever. He gives his little, you know, speech. But you know, but I don't know about that. That song was hard. That's like, you know, cause I heard half of the mixtape so far. I gotta listen to it. I gotta finish it. I listened to some of it on the way, but I had to save that little part. But yeah, but overall, I thought the song was good. I'm not sure what the original beat was, but I felt like it was a Drake song. Drake had that shit. And then Wayne was like, yo, let me jump on this line. Like that's what happened with it. But but Drake killed that shit. Like Drake had some good ass lines on that. Like it was real, real good. Like I felt like it was like I felt like it was it should have been drake and j cole on there and somebody on on the hook maybe drake singing on the hook i don't know but but it was a good ass freestyle i liked it a lot i'll get this song at eight this is definitely not a one and done i would definitely bump this song more wheezy i feel like wheezy just did his regular shit his little regular wayne shit you know fuck your bitch this and that blah 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 blah, blah. you need both sometimes so drake was more i'm telling the story type of thing telling how my life is going type of thing you know with a couple of shit that's you know add a little sick lines here and there and i feel like like wayne was just punchline punchline Punchline, punchline. I feel like it was nothing crazy. Like he had some good lines, but it was nothing crazy. But they both did a good job on it. I'm feeling the song. I can't wait to hear the rest of the mixtapes. If there's any other thing on the mixtape that I'm just like, shit, this was hard. I would definitely do a review on it. And yeah. So definitely like, comment, and subscribe. It is your boy G Marcus Winters. Follow me on G Marcus Winters TV on my Instagram and my Twitter. Definitely ask me questions if you guys want to work together. Let me know if you want to work together. Thank you guys for all the love and support that you guys have been giving me. I'll be bringing you guys brand new content every single week. You guys have a great night.